to you. My BB always remembers. Rumble. Thirsty little Timbo hears her BB across the wide parched plain. When BB calls, everyone comes. Auntie, sisters, mama, one by one. Step, step, searching for wet. But Timbo has a better idea. She remembers playing jackalberry tag with Mama. Timbo chews a mouthful of dark green leaves, then pokes her trunk into the jackalberry tree, searching for drops of dew. When Timbo looks up, she is all alone. Wind whistles through the acacia trees. Timbo squeals. Which way should I go? She waits and listens. Through the tall brown grass, Mama's soft steps vibrate. She wraps Timbo with her long gray trunk. Come along, little Timbo. Bibi remembers the way. Rumble. When Bibi calls, everyone comes. One by one, step, step, searching for wet. But Timbo has a better idea. She remembers playing stork chase with Auntie. Stork talks. All flapping wings and bossy squawk. Timbo chases. All flapping ears and tiny trumpet. When Timbo looks up, she is all alone. Baboons chatter in the heat. Timbo squeals. Which way should I go? She waits and listens. From ten tails far away, Auntie appears through the wavering heat. Her trunk curls around Timbo's round rump. Come along, little Timbo. Bibi remembers the way. Rumble. When Bibi calls, everyone comes. One by one, step, step, searching for wet. I think Rumble's supposed to sound like, Ooh! but I can't do that. But Timbo has a better idea. She remembers hide and seek under Bibi's broad shade. Her small footsteps, slow, slip, stop. She slides into a small patch of pool and drifts into thirsty dreams. When Timbo awakes, she is all alone. Hyenas laugh near the trees. Timbo squeals, Mama, which way should I go? She waits and listens. Lions huff in the grass. Timbo squeals again. Auntie, which way should I go? She waits and listens. Finally, Timbo remembers. She squeals one last time. Bibi, which way should I go? In the distance comes a rumbling. Closer and closer until Bibi crashes into sight. She brings Mama and Auntie and all of Timbo's family. Ears flapping, trunks high, they circle Timbo and trumpet. Along, come along, little Timbo. Bibi remembers the way. As the sun sinks low in the west, Timbo and Bibi turn to follow. They lead the family around one last bend, and then Bibi stops. Here is the spot she has always remembered. <coughs> Timbo echoes Bibi's call. <coughs> Bibi digs in the sandy river bed with long, tough tusks. Timbo digs in the dry sand too with her stubby milk tusks. At last, a very small puddle of very muddy water forms. Timbo and Bibi dig and dig. The puddle grows wider and deeper until stars shine back in the sky. With her long, strong trunk, Bibi draws up a sip. She sprays and the cool water slides slick down Timbo's throat. Rumble. When Bibi calls, everyone comes, one by one step, step, to drink the wet. Bibi strokes Timbo with her long gray trunk. 
Timbo nestle snug against Bibi's side. Someday I will be the Bibi, and then I will always remember. Grandma loves you.